Okay, um, hi everyone. Okay, so the next program is a string manipulator. Sorry. Okay, so it wants us to write a program that is going to ask the user to enter the name of his or her favorite city. And we are going to, the program is going to display the, the number of characters in the, the city name, whatever the user types. And it's also going to convert um, or change whatever the user types to all uppercase uh, letters and then to all lowercase letters. And then it's going to fi find the first character in the name of the city. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll create the class and I'll use a scanner for output. I like to put a space here. Okay, and then I'll create the main method. Okay, so I'll declare some variables. Okay. All right, so. First, we are going to prompt it, prompt or ask the user for the for the name of the city, and to do that, we need the scanner class. So we need to tell the program where the scanner is. We need to import it in this file. So I'm going to do that. Import. So now that we now that the program has access to the um, scanner class, we can go ahead and create a scanner object. So, and I'll call it scanner. And we are just basically convert, converting, so I'm um, connecting whatever was typed and um, whatever was received in system.in to the scanner object. And then we're going to use a scanner classes method to convert whatever the user type in system.in to a double, an int, or whatever we need. So now we can go ahead and ask the user for the name of the city. And to do that, we just use system.out.print. Please enter the name of your city, of your favorite city. Okay. And to accept the string or to, to prompt or to pop out the text box that's going to accept the string, we use the name of the scan the name of the scanner object, which is scanner dot next line next line and we're going to store that in a variable we need to de declare a variable that's going to store the user's strength the user's name of name the user's uh, city so we are going to declare the variables here so string user city or user favorite city and we're going to store that here. Okay, so now that we have the user's favorite city stored in here, we can go ahead and do what the program is asking us to do. First, it wants us to um, print out the number of characters in the city name, and to do that, since we already have the user city stored in user favorite city, to do that you use the method user favorite city dot the, the access of the access operator dot um, length and dot length is a method in the string classes the, the string class the string class and and that basically um, 
print out the number of characters in user favorite city. We need to print it out, otherwise we won't see it. So system dot out dot print. This. Actually, let's make it look um, more presentable. So the number of characters in user favorite city is user favorite city dot length. Okay. The next thing is the name of the city in all uppercase. I'm going to go ahead and copy this line. You could you can put them all in one system that, um, one print ln statement. But for this one, I'm going to use multiple statement. So I'm going to start by saying, one second. Okay, so I'm going to start by saying user favorite city. Now concatenate it with a string and say use user favorite city. Um, converted to all caps to to uppercase s and then you say user favorite city dot to uppercase that's also another method in the string class okay now for the lowercase is exactly the same thing the only thing, the only difference is you change this from to uppercase to to lowercase. Okay, and the last thing is the first character in the name of the city. I'm going to print paste this down, and to do that, we say. First, oh, but my typing is not the best. I'm sorry. The first character in I'm going to concatenate it with user fav favorite city. I'm going to concatenate it with a string. Let's put a space is concatenate it, concatenate that to user favorite string. Oh, sorry, user favorite city. I'm sorry. The access operator dot and uh, another method called or named um, char at char at or, or car at char at and char at is basically asking you give me the, the character at what position? Position zero. So the way this the, the first. So if it's let's say if, if let's say number is the name of the city, the first, the first the first let letter is, it has a has a position zero, the second one has a position of one, the next one has a position of two, three, four, and so on, and five. So first character the first character has a position of zero, and the position is called index. Actually, it's called index or position. So index of zero or position of zero, zero one. Two. So if I'm saying zero, then it should give me the first letter of the of the city. So that's what I'm doing. Give me the give me the the character at position zero or character at index zero zero index. Okay, so this looks fine. I'm going to go ahead and compile it and I'll create a folder for for it. And string money pointer. Okay, so we have an error. Let's see. Variable user favorite city. Oh, user favorite TCT. I think I made a mistake here. I declared a variable called user favorite city, and over here I type user favorite TCT. So I'm going to change it. 
compile it again and it worked okay so I'm going to run it please enter the name of the city I'm going to the name of your favorite city I'm going to enter the name of my favorite city it's Takradi I'm from Ghana by the way Ghana in West Africa so it's, it's Takradi and I'm going to hit enter and the number of characters in Takradi is eight and you can count it and see one two three four five six seven eight Takradi converted to uppercase is Takradi you can see it here Takradi converted to um, oops I, I, I forgot to change mm, let's start over <laughs> converted to lowercase is that in the first character in, okay so I'll do it again Takradi all right the number of characters in Takradi is eight Takradi converted to uppercase is this Takradi converted to lowercase is this and the first character in Takradi is T so this is a fun program it looks nice it, it works and I hope I hope you I hope um, you got it so if you have any questions please comment below and I'll do my best to to answer them and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time in the next program take care bye bye